my grandfather was the, the chief executive officer of the what was called the Bacha conglomerate, which was uh, a company called Bata AS of Zlin and many other companies that were daughter companies of that uh, organization that were either in the Czech Republic, Slovakia, or around the world. Uh, he controlled and, and owned the whole enterprise uh, after the death of his brother Thomas, Thomas Sr. We have worked for many decades to try to clear his good name. Uh, starting in the uh, 1968 was our first effort to try to clear our grandfather. The second effort took place in 1991. And the, and the third effort uh, took place in 2007 where we actually cleared my grandfather's good name uh, in the uh, court in Prague. The, the court decision from 1947 that made my grandfather into a a, you know, a, a, a war collaborator, which we all knew was a lie. Uh, you, you've got a, um, a man whose government failed underneath his feet, and, uh, and he did everything he could, everything within his power to try to help them survive, um, only to be, you know, thrown to the dogs after the war. In 1938, towards the end of the year, he traveled to Germany. He met with uh, Hermann Goering, uh, probably in uh, November 1938. Uh, the meeting didn't go well. Uh, the, uh, halfway through the meeting, uh, Goering said to my grandfather that uh, how great it was gonna be to put the you know Czechoslovakia as part of greater Germany. And my grandfather, uh, replied to him in front of everyone that it would be like a marriage between two men, he said. It would never produce children. And Goering got so upset, the meeting ended at that point, and uh, my grandfather left with his, you know, his entourage, his executives. And then soon after that, he was arrested by the Gestapo. Uh, he was taken off the train in uh, Marienbad and uh, detained for two days. When he was under detention in Germany, uh, he, he, he saw that they had maps of, uh, you know, Jewish homes in, in, the, uh, you know, in, the, in the area where they were um, detaining him. So uh, I think that that's how he, he figured out that it was, it was not going to be, uh, you know, it, it was not going to be a good uh, outcome for the Jews. And uh, really from that knowledge, you know, he, he uh, expedited his efforts to get everyone out that needed to get out. So anyone who asked, he, he got them out. And even uh, many employees who uh, kind of resisted leaving because things were so good there, uh, he had to uh, essentially say, you know, you either get out or you're fired. And, um, you know, they, they, uh, most of them took his uh, advice and left. They did it uh, uh, by creating businesses in various places around the world, in Africa, um, Asia, uh, South America, etc. And they shipped off all these people to these, uh, these distant locations uh, around the world you know, where they wouldn't have to uh, be under the influence of the, the Nazis. One of the families that, we, that grandfather helped to escape was the Straussler family. There was uh, Peter Straussler and, and Thomas Straussler. They were adopted later un, under the name Stoppard. So Thomas, Thomas Stoppard and uh, Peter Stoppard. Thomas Stoppard was a, a playwright. And uh, one of the films that he uh, completed the playwright for, which was uh, Schindler's List. So that, that important movie uh, was actually done by uh, 
a person who was rescued by Jan Antonin Bacha. And that we think that that's, in, that that's important. This was given to my grandfather in 1950 by Pope Pius XII in Brazil. Um, and it was for the good work that my grandfather did for uh, helping uh, European war refugees to resettle in Brazil. And as far as I understand from my grandfather's correspondence uh, with my mother and, and us, that he helped more than 100,000 uh, men and women to resettle to Brazil on, on his land. Besides rescuing a lot of people from, uh, you know, from the hands of the Nazis, which is, I think, a big deal, they helped the Slovak uprising in a number, number of ways. One of the directors of the, the Slovak operation was Captain Trojan, Josef Trojan, and uh, he was one of the leaders of the resistance in the area. Um, and as from what I've read, there was about 290 or so Bata men from the factory, you know, who, you know, went into armed conflict with the uh, with the SS who was in the uh, in the area. Um, so they were they were involved in the, the the battle to you know rescue Slovakia from the uh, during the Slovak uprising, and even to make the Slovak uprising happen. Uh, they used funds that were given to them by the Bada company, which was my grandfather's company. And uh, we think that that's a, that's a big deal because they created over 800 resistance committees all, all around Slovakia. They were called HELA, H-E-L-A. And uh, those resistance organizations were really what enabled uh, the Slovak uprising to move forward. He was tried in absentia uh, during a special period uh, of time where the government had maybe three or five days to complete their uh, investigations and, and trials. And uh, they confiscated all of his you know, business property, his home, his bank accounts, everything. And uh, they even confiscated his, uh, his uh, uh, engineering degree, <laughs> of all things which is still confiscated till today. They haven't returned his degree to him. So uh, we've lost essentially everything. We lost the businesses, we lost the, uh, our home, we lost everything. Um, and and uh, we, we lost our good name um, until now. On October 28th, 2019, uh, I was invited to the Czech Republic by the, the president, President Zeman. Uh, to receive an award for my grandfather, uh, Jan Antonin Bacha. And this award is the, uh, they call the White Lion. Uh, there's five degrees of this, this award. Uh, and Jan received uh, the first degree, which is the, the highest uh, civilian honor that the, that the Czech government gives out. Receiving this award was a, was a great honor for me and uh, all of our family around the world. Everybody was very happy about it, that, uh, that finally uh, Jan uh, Antonin Bacha was, was being recognized for uh, that, that he was a, a great man, a great humanitarian, uh, a great entrepreneur, and uh, a great Czechoslovak patriot. Thank you.